everyone. Welcome to week four of the OKCPS online distance learning. And um, again, you guys have got this down. We are so um, thrilled for how much you're doing for your child and let's get started. Okay, the format is exactly the same this week. Don't forget all of the um, orange underlined words. If you click on those, if you're on a computer, they will take you to the exact sheets that um, come printed out if you pick it up at a food site. All right, this week, the theme is food and nutrition. And I know this is a good week for this, for our family at least, because we have been making some fun recipes, but probably not the healthiest. So I need to look at this myself. Um, again, we have the sight words. You can mix it and fix those words with your letter cards. Oh, and this week, they included the lowercase letters and numbers up to 20. So you'll have the uppercase letters and the lowercase letters. It's very important that they, um, your kiddo can recognize um, the upper and the lowercase um, when they are reading them. Also, the numbers are up to 20 and it's um, a great activity for them to put them in order, frontwards, backwards, um, even going through the teen numbers and um, making sure they have those down because that's an important skill they will need to know when they're in first grade. Okay, something fun. I honestly think this week is probably my favorite with all the activities and the fun things you can do with everything included. And so I'm very excited to talk to you about this week. Um, we have word boxes. Word boxes are huge in kindergarten. Um, they have three letter word boxes, two letter word boxes. And the great thing about this is um, you don't have to make up the words. In the first section, they even have the words there. It's bag, sit, hop, gum. And so what you're gonna do with your child is if it's a three letter word, you will um, show them the three, um, three box um, sound box for three sounds. And what these sound boxes do is they help your child recognize each sound in a word and also help with spelling. So like the first word is bag. So um, what usually what teachers do is they will have the child hold up a um, finger for each sound that they hear. So they would say b, a, g, bag. Or another thing that um, they might do is do it on their arm, show on their arm. So they would say b, a, g, bag to put it together. Um, some of those physical ways that you can show them really help um, ingrain it in their mind. So again, they have the words for the three letter, the two letter. You can have them write the letters in these boxes or have them get their um, new letter tiles out and use those to fill up the boxes so you can keep using it over and over. Keep these activities through the summer too to help keep them brushed up on these activities and these um, things that they're learning. Okay, my favorite thing that we're getting this week are dominoes and you can use real dominoes or you can cut these out and these are really great size something that's super important for kindergartners is they start getting automatic with being able to see dots or fingers held up um, and to know the let I mean the number so if I hold this up they should just be able to say four without or I mean one without having to count sorry I had four on the back um, or like this, like if you hold this up and then they can just say four really quickly and um, automatically. And so you can go over that with them. Again, just hold up three and you know, hold up so many and then they can, should be able to see it and say it right um, whenever they see your, your fingers go up. So some fun things to do with this is to lay them all out and then make a train with them. So we have this one has a two and a zero box, blank box. And so they would find another one with a two and then connect it end to end on the ground like a train. And then they would find one that has three. And you can just make long trains with that. And so it's putting those numbers together and recognizing how they're alike. Another thing you can do is um, 
teach them how to count on. So at first, when they're adding together, you they may have to count all of the dots. So it would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. What we like to see them progress to is to be able to say six. So you're, you pick out the um, largest number, the um, largest amount of dots on the side and go six, seven, eight, nine. That will help them so much um, in with beginning addition and as they move on. Another thing they're asking, which I think is great, is to then take these dominoes and have them make equations out of them. So not only is the six and three equal nine, but when you write it down, it is six plus three equals nine. So getting them ready for this will be a great intro for first grade math. Okay, and it has even more games on there for that, so it's great. Okay, we also have um, 10 frame mat. So on the 10 frame mat, you just, um, it suggests that you get Cheerios or I have my little um, Cadbury eggs that I had last week. And they're asking the parent or guardian to Put so many, put, that right there. put so many in a um, cup and then take them out. So I have four in there. And just to make it where it's not confusing, you only want to put as um, like if you're wanting them to build the number four, you only want to put four Cheerios or jelly beans in the cup. And then when they dump them out, these are going to roll um, on me, but they place one um, object in each box. So you have four of these rolling eggs. And then, so you can, they can see the number four, or you can say, how many more do you need to get to 10? So then you would count the empty boxes. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So four and six equals 10. All right, now we also have Okay, so one healthy thing we can talk about is brushing our teeth. I think I might need to get with the curriculum writers and have these published in the middle school and high school packets as well. What do you think? <laughs> but anyway, this is really fun and great. It's just getting your kiddos um, into the habit of brushing their teeth. And my kids, I have a middle school and a high schooler and they've actually done really well. But um, Okay, we also have a, let me see if I can find it. This is a fun activity where they have the food plate and um, this is just showing them the amount, the fraction on their plate that um, of each type of food and what they should be eating. So there's a fun activity where they can draw um, what they've eaten. So they would draw their little broccoli right here and maybe a piece of chicken. Um, <clears throat> and so just to divide it out and what they're supposed to get in a day. And then one last thing I want to show you that <clears throat> is super fun is bar graph. Now, we work on bar graphs all year long, but there is a special emphasis on bar graphs the last um, quarter. So this might be something to really take in through the summer so they'll be ready for first grade with it. So this is um, a favorite food bar graph chart. And so you're gonna come up with four different foods that you want to interview people for. So it might be spaghetti, pizza, salad, and um, macaroni and cheese or something like that. Then um, your child can go around and every time they ask someone, if someone said pizza, then they would color this bar um, in. And I think it would be even fun to call grandparents or call cousins and see what their favorites are. And then, um, so you might have this bar graph, you know, up, colored up three. If three people liked pizza the most, and we'll say two people like spaghetti the most, then um, as the teacher, you can go back and say um, who, which food was enjoyed the most, liked the most, which um, has more pizza or spaghetti, how many more votes did pizza get over spaghetti? So it's even inter introducing some math, it's showing um, how as the numbers climb, it climbs up um, kind of like a staircase. So anyway, this is an incredible thing that you can use to, to teach your kiddos. So that is it. I hope you have an amazing week and 
please just understand how thankful we are for you. We know it's not easy. We wish we could be there, but um, we are really impressed for what, um, for everything that you're doing for your kids. Have a wonderful week.